Let's take a short look at the concept of linearity when we talk about amplifiers. Linearity, what does that mean? Well, in my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, if you happen to have the fifth edition, you'll find a short discussion of this concept on page 574 in regards to audio systems, in particular hi-fi or high-fidelity audio systems. But linearity is also an important consideration in a lot of other aspects of electronics. So let's just look at a very brief uh, literal definition of what linearity actually means. Linearity means that when you graph the input voltage and the output voltage together like this on a rectangular coordinate system, say you have an amplifier. Here's the input voltage, here's the output voltage. These scales are obviously different, but notice that the graduations all represent the same increment. That is to say here, each hash mark represents one half of a volt, and here each hash mark represents 10 volts. The distances between the hash marks and the increments of voltage are constant all along these axes, and that's important when you're making a graph and you want to determine linearity. In an amplifier, of course, the instantaneous output voltage is usually quite a lot more than the instantaneous input voltage. It, at least that's true in a voltage amplifier like you might get with a field effect transistor or with an operational amplifier integrated circuit. Whenever you have a linear situation in an amplifier, that means the output waveform, whatever you get out of the amplifier, is going to be an exact replica of the input waveform, except bigger, of course. You're, you want an amplifier to make the waveform bigger in terms of its instantaneous amplitude, louder, stronger. So, whenever you graph the instantaneous input voltage versus the instantaneous output voltage in a linear amplifier, you're going to get a straight line. These are three examples. The gain, or the amplification factor, is relatively low here. It's relatively higher here and it's even higher here but in every case you you get a straight line for that graph now let's just suppose that you have an amplifier and you get a, a a graph that looks something like this when you graph the input versus the output voltage something like that it's not a straight line well, you have a problem if you have a situation like that. This is a pretty ragged example. Um, in, in an amplifier, you're rarely going to get something that ragged, but that's obviously not <laughs> a linear amplifier. And if you have an amplifier that exhibits an output voltage versus input voltage curve that looks like this, you're going to get distortion because the output voltage and the input voltage are going to differ. More commonly, you're going to get curves that are smoother, but they have a tendency in most cases in nonlinear amplifiers to level off as you increase the input voltage. In fact, sometimes you will get uh, curves that really have an exaggerated uh, leveling off characteristic, something like, say, that. When you have a situation like that, <clears throat> you're going to get waves that are blunted at the peaks, and that's the most common form of distortion, which results in what we then refer to as, take a guess, nonlinearity. So, when we talk about linearity as a literal characteristic in any circuit, any analog circuit, we're always talking about a situation where we get straight lines 
in the graphs of the output voltage versus the input voltage. Now power is a different state of affairs and current may be a different state of affairs. We may talk about current linearity or voltage linearity and that's the way that it usually works. That's the way the literal definition of linearity. Where do you think that term linear comes from? It comes from the concept of a straight line. That means when we graph the output voltage versus the input voltage on a graph where the where both axes are graduated in equal increments like this. In other words, axes like this are called linear axes, by the way, uh, just in case you were curious. But that's what the term linearity in graphical and geometric terms means. So the next time you hear someone say that their audio amplifier has poor linearity, you'll know a little bit more literally what they're talking about.